Welcome to chapter four problems with finance coach. In this one, problem number one, Fire Corporation wants to grow their sales costs and all balance sheet items by 15% year over year. What is the plug? So we need to find out what is the external financing needed or the plug. Equations are sales minus cost equals net income, the income statement equation and assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity, the balance sheet equation. So first of all, I take my income statement items and multiply them by 15%. <clears throat> so these are all up. Delta plus 15% plus 15% and plus 15%. And I get a second year net income of 87.40, sales are 36.8 and costs are 28.06. So all I do is multiply everything in column one by 1.15. Same thing on the balance sheet. I take my assets of 25,300 given, multiply by 1.15 and get 29,095 for my assets in year two. Same thing on the right side of the balance sheet. Take my debt of 5,800 times 1.15 and get 6,670. I take my equity of 19,500 and multiply by 1.15 and get 22,425. And you can see I'm all balanced out. My year two. Assets of 29095 equals my liabilities plus owner's equity of 29095. The question is, what is the plug? Everything looks all balanced out. Well, here's what happened. Uh, my year one equity is 19500 and not knowing anything else, I would expect all of my net income to go right into that <clears throat> equity account. So I would expect to see a year two equity number of 28240. 28240. I only see 22425, so something happened to balance the balance sheet. And the question is what? What happened? Well, I take my 28240, subtract 22425 that I see in my uh, equity account, and I notice that I had a plug of 5815 negative dividends paid. So my answer in this case, uh, management has paid a dividend of 5815 to balance the balance sheet because it's all balanced out. That is the answer to problem number one. In problem number two of chapter four, Fire Corp wants to grow sales costs and assets by 15%, just like problem number one. But in this case, debt and equity do not. Debt and equity remain the same. They want no new debt, no new equity in problem number two. What is the plug if they want to pay out one half of their net income and dividends? The last problem, they paid out nothing. This problem, they want to pay half out in dividends. Same equation, sales minus cost equals net income and assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So on my income statement, everything goes up 15% as per the last problem. The left side of my balance sheet also goes up. Assets go up 15% from 25.3 to 29.095, just like the last problem. However, on the right side of the balance sheet, debt and equity remain the same at 5,819.5. Now in this case, I bring in half of my net income, or half of the 87.40 comes in in the form of additions to retain earnings, and I add those up. So on year two, my forecast figures, I get 5,800 of debt, 19.5 of equity, same as last year. Now I want to bring half of my additions to retained earnings or 43.70 that I'm going to keep. So uh, now I have 29.670 on the right side. When I take my debt plus equity plus uh, additions to retained earnings, out of balance with my uh, assets of 29.095. So to calculate the plug, I take my assets of 29.095 subtract the new figure of liabilities and equity of 29,670, and to, to balance this balance sheet of 29,670 versus the 29,095, I must uh, take a plug out of 575. So somewhere on this right side of the balance sheet, I must take out 575 to balance this thing out. More than likely, most companies would take that out of debt, but I'm not going to plug it in. I'm just going to say my plug or uh, external financing needed is negative. 575, that's your answer to problem number two. In problem number six, we have life company with assets and costs are proportional to sales. Debt and equity are not proportional to sales. 30% dividend payout ratio, what is their uh, internal growth rate, IGR? IGR is ROE times V over one minus quantity, ROE times V. Watch your uh, PEMDAS here. Make sure your brackets are in the right place and do the mathematics inside the brackets first and then subtract that from one. I have year one actual given for the income statement on the left here and the balance sheet over there on the right, and everything's all balanced out at 39,150 assets equal liabilities, 
plus owner's equity. Again, when I'm calculating the IGR, I use year one. Use year one actual. So I'm going to use these numbers that are given. ROA is uh, not given. I have to calculate that. And B is not given, so I must calculate that. First of all, B is 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. So what I keep or my retention ratio is 1 minus what I pay out, dividend payout ratio. So 1 minus the 0.3 that's given here, I get a B or retention ratio of 0.7. I'm going to use that in my equation for B. And then my, IG, my ROA is 34.20 of net income divided by total assets ROA of 39.150. So 34.20 over 39.50 times B of 0.7 over 1 minus the same. And I get an internal growth rate of 6.5132%. This is the rate at which I could grow my company year over year without adding uh, any new external financing or any plug. That's the answer to number six. For problem number eight, McGovney company has assets and costs that are proportional sales. Debt and equity are not. 30% dividend payout ratio, just like the last problem. That means the retention ratio is 0.7. Uh, what is their SGR, maximum increase in sales dollars with no new equity issued? Debt is okay. Calculate percent SGR, it's ROE times B over 1 minus the quantity ROE times B. Again, watch your brackets and PEMDAS. Be very careful with your mathematics. So here's the given income statement. Here's the given balance sheet. Calculate the SGR. First of all, again, I calculate my retention ratio B. It's 1 minus dividend payout ratio or 0.7. 1 minus 0.3 is 0.7, and then I take my SGR is uh, ROE, net income over my equity, times B of 0.7, uh, over 1 minus what's in the numerator, is what goes in the denominator. I get an SGR, if I do the math, of 10.482%. That's a maximum increase in sales dollars that I could get with no new equity being issued, debt is okay, while maintaining my debt to equity ratio, that's critical. And then I want to know, what is the maximum increase in sales dollars? Well, I just take the 10.482% times the $49,000 of sales, and I get a maximum increase of sales of $5,136.17. And that's your answer to problem number uh, eight. For problem number 14, we have Caleb's kickboxing with profit margin of 7.1% capital intensity Ratio of 0.75%, debt to equity of 60%, net income of $48,000. And dividends paid of $13,000. That means they're retaining $35,000. In addition to retain earnings, find their sustainable growth rate or the rate at which I can grow my sales without any new equity financing while maintaining my debt to equity ratio. Equation, SGR is ROE times B divided by 1 minus ROE times B. And to get the ROE, because it's not given, I must take profit margin times asset turnover times equity multiplier. Uh, B, I can calculate by taking net income minus dividends divided by net income. So that's 35,000 over 48,000, or 72.9167% is my retention ratio, or B. To calculate my ROE, which is the other component I need, <clears throat> I take a profit margin of 7.1% plus one over the capital intensity ratio. So total asset turnover is one over uh, capital intensity, which is given, so I take one over 0.75. And then uh, times equity multiplier, now I have my debt to equity ratio of 60%, so my equity multiplier is one plus debt to equity, or 1.6. Uh, multiplying these three items out, I get an ROE of 15.1467%. So then simply I take my ROE, times my B, divided by 1 minus ROE times B, same thing in the denominators and the numerator in brackets, and I get an, a sustainable growth rate of 12.4157%. This is the maximum rate at which I can grow my sales dollars without any increase in equity while maintaining my debt-to-equity ratio. And that is the answer to problem number 14.